Welcome to the last of my home organization shop with me. Of course, I'm heading to Kmart, but I'm just going to be sharing with you the new home organization and storage solutions because I've got heaps of these videos out already. I sort of don't want to be repeating stuff. So let's jump into it. Walking in store today, I was super impressed with the amount of new products I could see starting off with these clear drawer set organizers. They are $39 for a 10 piece set. So around $4 per item. So it does sound expensive, but not too much when you're adding it up. It looks like it has the little rubbery bits in the corners as well, which is gonna stop them from sliding around your drawers. These were also freezer safe, believe it or not. I don't know why you put them in your freezer, but yeah, I thought these were great and it'd be amazing for an art and craft space also. The other find for $10 were these bucket strainers. So think of struck it buckets. This is like the Kmart ripoff version, you could say. Uh, yes, so I think these are also good for washing toys as well. So if you are, you know, fighting an infection in the home or if you work in a kinder or a daycare environment, I think that these would be great to pop in all those sucked on toys. These dry food storage set would be great for anybody who has needs a sort of like a shelf in their home and they can't put one in there because uh, they may be renting or something like that. These are freezer safe and microwave safe, which I'm not sure why they need that if they're dry food storage. Uh, but anyway, they are, that's how they've made it and they're only $12. Now, you guys may know that I do love a good Lazy Susan or turntable, and they come in one with a shelf at the moment. I did try to see if it does sort of pull off, just for interest sake, but it doesn't appear that they do pull off. Uh, but yeah, these are really compact, so you can fold them up. They are transportable if you need to, if you're going to be moving and things like that. Uh, but yeah, this was a pretty exciting product. I could definitely see this in a bathroom or something like that uh, for putting your skincare products on also. This is another product I could imagine under the sink in the bathroom, but also in a kitchen space. This one was only $12. I'm not sure on the quality when you have a look at the side of the packaging. Um, it kind of... I don't know. I'd, I'm not convinced on the quality. If anyone's got it, then let me know if these are any good. But these would be suitable if you don't have that deep of a space because they're only 34 centimeters um, in width. So, yeah, if you've got a narrow space, these might be the way to go. Now, is anybody feeling a bit gutted about the merger that they are between uh, Kmart and Target? They're going to merge stores soon, and I'm actually gutted. So let me know what you think. I love the kids' clothes and stuff like that. So I'm actually really upset because I'm, I'm not a fan of Kmart's. Next of all were these cloth holders. You could definitely put your tea towels on these. These were only $5 and they are 3M. So very renter friendly and very affordable. Moving off into the freezer section where these adjustable freezer racks. These were only $7, so very affordable, but I love the fact that they are adjustable. So they're adjustable to whatever you're using. I could really see these being used in a bedroom for like people with handbags or clutches, like quite a big selection because uh, they're adjustable. Like that is a game changer. I know a lot of those things that are marketed for that actually aren't adjustable. So definitely hit here if you need to. They also have a great range of fridge drawers. You guys know I love drawers. These are going to keep your food lasting longer because they help with ventilation and they did have them in a variety of different sizes starting from $9. Now these ones here, they say price drop. So apparently they're not new. Uh, I have seen them with bamboo shelves, but I 
can't remember seeing them with a tiered one so i thought i would add it in here it says price drop it must be old it is 25 dollars um it is one of those things that is going to be good for so many different areas whether it's under the sink uh, if you need that extra shelf or in the pantry or wherever it may be This is another product that is too good not to share. It is an older product, but such a good one. For $35, it is this white slimline trolley. So this is good for those awkward spaces that we, most of us have, I think most of us have. Uh, this would be good for in between the fridge, in between a washing machine, in between a dishwasher. I thought I'd mention these dryer balls. These are $10. Now these are going to reduce drying time as well as the need for ironing. I just thought I'd mention it because we're all sort of struggling financially at the moment. I know I am, um, but my sister also swears by tennis balls. So if you've used tennis balls and you think that they work, then definitely uh, leave it in the comments. This one here I got ages ago and they stopped making them. Now they've made them again. It is these magnetic baskets. They're only $8. And I actually have mine in the shed, which I use as a little grab and go station for my uh, measuring tapes and things like that. And it's got a quite a large magnet on the back, but these would also be good for people who have lots of stuff on their fridge and they just wanna make it not look so cluttered. So you could put all your paperwork in there and store it on the side of the fridge and no one would even know it's there. These over the door storage baskets are another one that is worth mentioning for $29 as well as these adjustable shelves. They have had them for a little while, but these are a great renter friendly option if you need to add shelves in your home. In the makeup department, they had a lot of different varieties of LED mirrors and I particularly liked uh, the one with the storage in the bottom of it. Uh, but they all are pretty cool and it looks like they charge via USB as well. So a very handy product that you can transport around with you if you want to um, or just add to your makeup desk if you don't have like Hollywood lights or want that sort of look. Now this product here I did share with you in a Kmart Hacks video just to use to divide up all your like pouches satchels of like coffee and stuff like that or hot chocolate if you want to divide them up with flavors just like the kitchen department there was heaps of different organizing products for the bathroom and makeup type products uh, but i definitely will say that target did have the better ones if you've got like heaps and heaps of makeup and you need bulk storage definitely hit up target but these guys did have a better range when it comes to sort of like the normal everyday type use of makeup I suppose people like me that don't own heaps and heaps of makeup anyway now this is another new product that I did spot for $15 which was this it's pretty much a lazy susan bucket you could say and it does have some dividers in it which are also removable I really really liked this product uh, very affordable and oh, you could use it for so many different things and the fact that you can take the divider out is really cool as well uh, but yes if you wanted like a cheap sort of thing to put some ice and some wine in on a hot day when you're like entertaining yeah it doesn't look pretty but you know it's a lazy susan type thing you could have something like that in it I think that would be really cool to pop in the middle of a table Moving on to your sort of like linen closet type organization were these boxes. Uh, these were the boucle ones. So it's a kind of like a fabric that's on trend at the moment. Looks a bit like a woolly sheep. Not sure whether you like it or not, but these were only $4. I really like the olive green ones, uh, but I'm sort of more into that uh, eucalyptus -y type green at the moment. But yeah, heaps of organizing products, guys. If you need organizing stuff, just so much to go through. Definitely check out my other videos because uh, I've done heaps of videos on their organizing products. 
These were a couple of the newbies that I'd seen today. So this was a quite a large round basket and this one here was only $29. And then they also had the rectangle basket next to it. This was $10. I didn't really think it was that nice looking, but yeah, it was a pretty good size. Uh, then you've got some more of these baskets used to come in the gray, uh, but now they're in like this beige with the white leather handle. They don't, the quality doesn't look great to me. It looks pretty like crushes pretty easy from the look of that. Again, I believe this product did come in a grey, but now it's coming in the beige as well. And then you've got these baskets here, which are huge. They're actually starting to get some really good big type baskets out, which I always found that they didn't really have the bigger baskets as much. So it's nice to see them coming out with a range of larger baskets if you're needing that sort of storage type stuff. So the large baskets main price point for them was about $29 but there was a really big one and I believe that that was $49. Now this linear range did catch my eyes. It's such a beautiful looking storage solution. Obviously you would need to own your own place or I don't know how it would go with 3M. I don't know how heavy they are, but I just thought that just looks so beautiful and designer looking. And yeah, I just really liked that range. So I thought I would share that with you as well today. The other thing that I saw were these um, vinyl flooring because there's a lots of DIY stuff there but this one here was new $29 for these I actually I don't know whether this is cheap or not but yeah I just thought I would let you know that I did spot them as well today now I did check out the camping area just quickly and they had these picnic sets for two people and you can see that this is very small and compact and that is what really caught my eye it's sort of like a CD Discman things that you used to get to pull your CDs in. Uh, these were $17 there. Yes, I'm really showing my age now, aren't I saying that? And then up the top here, they had these small bamboo picnic tables. It does have the wine glass cutouts, which I'm not a wine person, but uh, I just thought that that would be a really good set to bring out together. Nice, small and compact to keep in the back of the car. And these nappy caddies would also be a great option to put in the back of your car as well. Uh, you do have those ones in the auto department, but I think that these just look heaps nicer and they're probably just as, you know, priced just as well as those are also. So definitely keep that in mind if you want something a little bit different. Stay tuned. Next week, I'm going to be sharing with you an entry makeover with a little bit of a gallery wall. And uh, it also has a bit of a Kmart haul in that video too, if you want to check it out. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.